Oh, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome. Yes, it's me, Lance Cardinal, and I'm so excited. Once again, welcome to Family Art Adventures here on YouTube Live, and it's so exciting. Another beautiful, beautiful day the Creator has made for us, and I'm so happy you can be here with us today. Uh, as you know, my name is Lance Cardinal, and this is going to be such a good day. There's so many things to do together, such amazing adventures. It's time for the Family Art Adventures. We're gonna have a great day. Welcome, welcome to Family Art Adventures. Hey, 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 everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, as you know, I'm Lance Cardinal. I'm a member of the Treaty 8 Big Stone Cree Nation, and I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So excited to be here uh, and honored to be in Treaty 6 territory. So thank you for having me here. Um, and of course, we are live on YouTube, as always, here on my channel. This is episode 9. And as you know, uh, we are going to be live. So I have a little chat thing here. So if you want to send me a message while we're doing our craft, I'm going to be here for you today. But this is such a great place to come on down, visit with me, spend some time, do some amazing crafts together, and maybe learn a little bit about the indigenous cultures of Alberta. So that's pretty exciting. And then, of course, we're going to learn about artists, maybe even see one of your pictures on the screen here in our kids' corner. Hopefully that'll be your picture today, but maybe you never know. <laughs> but I'm so, so, so excited, as always, to have you here. It's been crazy. This is week nine of our Family Art Adventure show, and I've had so much fun being here with you guys and uh, sharing my culture. And I hope you're doing your part to stay inside and help with that uh, flatten that curve. Now, I know we've all been allowed to be outside now. They've opened up the parks. They've opened up a few businesses. But please try to stay uh, still socially distant if you can and make sure everyone out there is safe. But for now, let's have some fun today. Do some art. Learn some culture. And let's see who's online. Hey, Amanda Ray. Nice to see you here. Welcome. I'm so glad you found the link to my uh, YouTube channel and you can join us today. It's going to be an awesome day. Okay, so as we always do here on Family Art Adventures, we start each day with an amazing greeting. So let's do it. Make sure everything's going good here. All right, here we go. And as always, the greeting we say to each other is the greeting of hello in my native language, which is Cree. Now, I'm a northern Cree person, so we say kanse, which is hello in Cree. You see here, kanse, hello in Cree. Now, some of you out there already know how to say this because you've been with me for now almost nine weeks now. So if you want to say kanse as well with me, that would be awesome. And if it's your first time joining me here on uh, Family Art Adventures, give it a try. I want to hear your best attempt to say the word kanse in Cree. Are you ready? I want to hear you. On the count of three, say it with me. One, two, three, kanse. Yes, amazing. Good job, everyone. That's so good. I heard you say it. It was perfect. And then I say, Boinantau, which means I'm okay. And then I say, Iguakia, how are you? <laughs> we'll learn all those a little bit later on uh, down the road, later episodes. Today is going to be an awesome day. It is Atacus Day. That is right. Today it's Star Day. We're going to learn all about star stuff today. Going to be awesome. So, as I said before, the Cree word of the day we're going to learn is... Ba -ba -da -bam! Achagos. That's right. Achagos, which means star. Star, star, star. I see stars in the sky. I'm sure a lot of you last night were watching the stars. There was a beautiful green-tailed comet that was seen with the naked eye last night in the skies here in Alberta. I know a lot of you were out there checking it out. So today's theme and word is Achagos. That means star in Cree. Now let's hear you say the word Achagos, which means star. Let's hear you. One, two, three. Wow, good job. You said Achagos, which is amazing. That means star. So that's Achagos and star. And that, of course, is the Cree syllabic version of the word Achagos, which is a translation of the Cree word. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about syllabics later on. So, so awesome. And hey, look. Check out this. Anyone know what that is down there? That is a star blanket. That's right. It is a handcrafted blanket. 
a very Alberta style and Cree style. And the star blanket is a very special blanket for us. We use it to uh, in ceremonies and as to celebrate people, uh, to wrap them in love and comfort. So right there is a beautiful star blanket with some beautiful colors, red, yellow, orange, blue, amazing. So Atricus, star, today's Cree word and the theme of the entire day. So it's gonna be awesome. Hey, Tansy, Amanda Ray, good job. <laughs> good morning, Mom, nice to see you. All right, now I guess it's time to move on to our amazing art project of the day, because that's what we're here for, a fun family art tutorial. Now remember, this art tutorial is for the entire family to do together. That's why it's called an adventure, because you can make memories together as a family. So everyone come on in, get together, grab your supplies. Let's make this really, really cool project, which is cosmic chalk art. Woo! That's right, the cosmic stars are amongst us. And today, we're gonna create our own galaxy with our own stars and our own planets, just like this one. So cool. Now, if you don't have the supplies, you can always do something different, like use pencil, crayons, paper, but let's go through it. Starting with our supply list, of course, what everyone needs for this amazing project, I'm gonna put this right in front of Kermit here so he can, he can take care of it for us, is, of course, colorful chalk or pencil crayons. Now I have this amazing kit of 48 beautiful pastel chalks. Open it up. Wow, look at all those amazing colors. Isn't that cool? That's right, this is all of my personal chalk collection. I have them all categorized and put neatly away. I like to take care of my stuff, just like I'm sure you do, to make sure it stays neat, tidy, and ready for the next use, okay? So we're gonna put those aside for now until we're ready to go. We also need black paper, which I have right here. Now I'm using black construction paper. You can use whatever color paper you want, maybe blue, maybe red, whatever you color you desire but I find the black shows the color a lot, lot better. Okay, so black paper is the way to go. Here it is here. And one more thing. Oh, we need a warm rag. So I've got a face cloth here that I've dampened with a little bit of water, so it's a little bit damp. This is because the chalking is very messy. Uh, it causes a lot of dirtiness on your hands and your clothes, but not to worry. Chalk comes out of clothes very, very easily. Just a little bit of wetness, or even throw it in the laundry, it'll be just fine. But for this project, we need to make sure our hands are clean between each color, because we're gonna do a little bit of smearing. That's right, we're gonna get our fingers dirty today and we'll do some fun art. That's right, so put that cloth right there, ready to go, and I think we're good to go, so let's begin. Let's begin our craft for the day. Let's begin, you and me. Let's make a cosmic art for everyone to see. <laughs> you know, I always love to make up my songs as I go along. I don't practice them. I just make them up just for you on the spot as I feel them in my heart. <laughs> okay, so that's what we do. All right, so the first step in our um, adventure is, ooh, start with a black piece of paper right here. Put it right in front of you. And like I said before, if you don't have black paper, use a different color or use white if you want. White is also good. And if you don't have chalk, you can always use pencil crayons. That works just as well. Or even crayons on black paper will show up very, very nicely. So whatever you got, you make it work. Step number two, we're gonna sketch in some galaxies, okay? So you can see here in our sample, we have purple galaxies and blue galaxies. Maybe that's called the Milky Way, or maybe it's called the Chocolate Milky Way. You never know. <laughs> the Chocolate Milky Way is a fun place. Chocolate flows in the Chocolate Milky Way all the way down to our dinner table. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Let's keep going, you guys. We're gonna start with some chalking of the galaxy. So I'm gonna choose some blue chalk in my chalk uh, collection here, just like this blue, and I'm gonna create some galaxies. Now we scrape the galaxies out. Whatever shape we want, whatever shape you want, this is your art and nothing is wrong. Whatever shape you want, make your galaxy, make it so much fun, whatever you want. All right, so I finished that blue. You take a look, it has all sorts of little uh, particles. I'm gonna blow those off. Gone. All right, now let's pick another color. Hmm, I got some pink. I'm gonna do pink again. So pink here. Pink is fun. 
Now, pink is a fun color for galaxies because boys and girls can use whatever colors they want. Blue is not always for boys, and pink is not always for girls. So whatever color you want, it's up to you, and it's okay. I like both. A little bit of pink and a little bit of blue. So this is my other galaxy right here. Make it whatever shape you want. But once we're done, what do we do? That's right. Give it a little bit of a blow. And there we go so far. Two spots. Perfect. I hope yours is going well as well. Now remember, this is not uh, a competition. And whatever you do is going to be perfect. However you want to do it, it's always, like I say, your art, your way. It's never wrong, all right? I believe in your art. I think you're amazing. So do it your own way. All right, our next step is use your finger and blend the galaxies. Aha, now we're gonna get messy, so much fun. Okay, so get your warm cloth ready. What we're gonna do is, with a dry finger, to make sure it's dry, dry fingers, we're gonna blend our picture, okay? Here we go. Now I take my finger and I blend, not too hard, not too soft, just enough to make the colors go together and then the edges to blur out, okay? So do blue first, or pink first, whatever color you want. And there, I blurred it. And look, blue finger, let's wipe that off. Good, now try our finger off. Let's do the pink one. Okay, ready? Blend the pink. Now if you wanna blend the two together creatively, like I always say, everything is a yes. Whatever you wanna do with your galaxy is up to you. This is how mine's gonna look. So blending, blending, blending. Woohoo! It's so much fun to get messy while you're doing art, and it's like such an, an exciting day. All right, look at that, blendy fingers. <laughs> we wipe those off, and we take a look at our results. Ooh, look how fun that is. Beautiful and blended. Perfect, I hope yours is going well. Now remember, I am live on uh, YouTube, so if you have any questions, just ask or say hi. I want to see where you're from, what your name is, you can say hello, all right? Okay, moving on to the next step. <gasps> Drawing in the sun, and yes, we have a new word we can learn right now. The sun is called Pisim. And as a matter of fact, I have a cousin named Pisim who lives up north in Calling Lake. Hi, Pisim, if you're watching. And Pisim, as you can see there, means sun. That's right, Pisim means sun. So let's draw in our Pisim. So we need, I would say, yellow, right? Of course, your sun can be red or blue, whatever you want, but yellow's a good color for a sun. And we draw in a circle. Blow it off and take a look circle. Now, I like to blend my circle so the sun looks like it has a glow. So we blend our circle just like that. Wipe off our finger. Blend it out just like that. And we draw it again. <laughs> now here it says use your finger to blend your sun, which we've done here, and blended it. Next, draw the sun again. Oh my goodness, okay. We draw the sun again and leave some rays behind. All right, so I'm taking my yellow again. I'm gonna draw over top, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of room on the outside for a glow. And there we go, just like that. Yellow sun. Next step is we get our white and we make a, a line around the outside of the sun so we can draw some rays on the outside. So first step is take some white and draw a white circle around your sun, just like this. Like that. All right. Ooh. Getting dusty table. I'm gonna wipe that all down for now. Dry it off. <laughs> Sometimes a paper can go a little bit funny if you wet it. So I like to keep my surfaces pretty dry. All right. Ooh. Put this down here. All right, the next step is using our finger to blend out the edges, okay? 
So we take our sun, take our finger, and we blend outward on the edges to make sun rays. Now just blending out where the white part is of the sun, not the rest of it, just the outer edge where the white part is. And it'll create a beautiful glow. Just like that. Check it out. How does yours look? Are you happy with your art so far? I'm sure it's perfect because you're perfect just the way you are. All right, you guys, awesome. Let's move on. Oh, it's time for today's teachings. That's right, every time uh, here on Family Art Adventure, I love to share some of my indigenous teachings with you. And today is special because we're gonna be learning about Cree syllabics. That's right, everyone. We do a lot of um, Cree work on Family Art Adventures, and I'm always telling you about new Cree words and the syllabic version, but I wanna talk a little bit about what Cree syllabics are. Now, Cree syllabics, are um, a form of writing that has been around since the 1800s and that was used as a form of communication between indigenous and non-indigenous people. Now it's a translation directly of a Cree word into a symbol. Now there are nine glyph shapes that are in. Um, and we can see here, we call a beautiful star chart created many years ago in the 70s by Rosanna Houle. Now, this was a way that she invented to teach the Cree language and something that we now all use. So thank you so much, Rosanna Houle. Once again, one of our beautiful indigenous women uh, showing us something amazing and teaching us and leading us as always. So it's pretty cool. Now, like I said, the Cree syllabics language is made up of nine different shapes and each shape represents a syllable with the vowels determined by the shape's orientation. Okay, so whatever shape the, the, the little, the little um, symbol is in de de determines the sound. So up here we can see it goes like the O's are po, wo, po, cho, lo. Here we have e, we, pe, ti, le. Over here we have re, je, ki, si, ye, ne. So as you can see, there's so many different words and it makes uh, goes all together to create the Cree word. Now it's not the English version, the Cree version. So you have to translate the English version into Cree and then translate the Cree version into syllabics. So, so cool. Now this type of writing is used by over 70,000 Cree people uh, here in Alberta and Canada. And so it's a very popular language, very, very old, very ancient, and uh, we're so proud to have it. Now we're gonna learn a little bit about the Kansa word. Let's break down one of our words that we know into syllabic sounds, all right? So here we have our Cree word, Kansa. That's right, Kansa. Now, the Cree word Kansa is broken into three different syllabic sounds, all right? So let's put this one right over here, in front of our art, and we can see Kansa has three sounds. The first one is Ta. Now, here's a little really cool uh, uh, trick. These letters, these symbols, also have hand symbols. Much like sign language, each sound has a symbol associated to the, to, the, to the symbol, has a hand symbol, so that long time ago people could use sign language to communicate instead of talking. So sometimes it was easier that way to learn the sign language, all right? So TA is the first part of TANSE, which is TA, TA. And the hand symbol for that is ta. So you want to try it with me? So you raise your hand up, just like the shape you see right there. Wait, the left hand. Uh, okay, I think it's this one. Here we go. <laughs> ta. So that's the ta symbol right there. Ta. Okay. No, wait, I'm right. I'm right. This is it. Ta. Right there. Ta. Left hand. Ta. Give it a try. Left hand. Ta. All right, next one. Ne. That's right. Ne. We take our right hand and we go like this. And there it is there. Ne. And you can see the hand symbol is very similar to the writing symbol as well, right? So, ne. And se. That's right. Se. There it is there. Ah, there we go. Sit. All right, let's try it all, all together. 
Let's try to see if we can learn about syllabics. Everybody raise your hand for ta, ta, ta. That's right, it is ta, ta, ta. Next part is ni, ni. Raise your right hand and make it ni, ni. That's the best part of tamsin is ni. Let's move on to the third part. It is se, se. Let's see your hand symbol for se. It's se, se. That's right, guys. It's ta to se. Now, of course, you can see um, <laughs> the letters all together say ta ni se. But when you say it as a word, it's tan se. Tan se, right? So we go ta ni se. Ta ni se. That's it. All right. Good job, you guys. Amazing. That was our little cre syllabic teaching today. So cool. I love cre syllabics. They're so interesting and so much fun to learn. So we're going to continue on with our amazing art project. Uh, yes. Back to our art. Hope you learned something there. Okay. Now we're going to draw in some planets. So our little uh, space area needs some planets, right? So let's draw some planets. Now we want to make as many planets as you want. I'm going to do two big planets. One is orange first. Big orange circles. Now you want to make all the different circles different sizes so that you can make it interesting. And now be careful when you're working as well. Don't smear your, your picture. So try to keep your hands off your art if you can. Touch the sides only so you don't smear it all around, okay? So I'm choosing an orange planet and a green planet. Let's put it right here. Plain old circle, easy as pie. And here we go. Two planets ready to go. Perfect. How's yours coming along? I'm sure it's perfect as well. Now I like to put, I like to blur in all the colors of my planets before I move on. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna clean my finger off because it's dirty. The next step, hope you can see what I'm doing here. The next step is to add some details. So we're gonna add some fun stuff to our drawing here that'll make it unique. So I'm gonna take some uh, light orange, maybe even yellow, and draw some lines on my orange planet. Just streaks, stripes, streaks, stripes, streaks, stripes. Streaks and stripes, la 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 la. All right, I like to put little circles around my planet to make it look cool. And then, of course, let's check out this one. Do you like it? <laughs> I love it. Now, moving on to the green, we're gonna do a ring around it, just like Saturn. So we take our light, light blue, the lightest blue we got, and make a ring. Ooh, this is a little bit hard. But give it a shot. Don't be scared. Try something new. Take a risk. And don't forget, it's not going to be wrong because your art is perfect just how it is. There's my ring around my planet. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Listen. All right. It looks like we're almost ready to start again. Oh, I'm going to put some little spots on my planet. Maybe purple. Purple uh, on my green planet. There. All finished. Okay. Next step. It's time for the Indigenous Artist Spotlight. That's right. While you're working on your next step, I'm going to talk a little bit about a really amazing artist that I want to share with you today. Now, because we're talking about stars and about Astragos up in the sky, I want to show you some star paintings by one of my favorite artists of all times. That is Mr. Aaron Paquette. Now, Aaron is a Métis artist right, right here in Edmonton, Alberta, and he is incredible. So I'm going to share some of his works. First piece I want to share is called Northern Gods. Wow, isn't this beautiful? Look at the birds walking both ways, a little person walking with the sled. And of course, what do we see in the sky? Astragos, that's right, Astragos, stars in the sky. There they are there, so it's really, really cool. The next one we see here is called Women in Justice. 
and equality. That's right, so women, justice, equality. We can see here a teepee, a beautiful feather, and the moon, uh, which represents our beautiful women. And of course, what do we see around there? Let me hear ya. That's right, Astragos, stars, good job, amazing. Stars, let's move on. The next picture we see, oh my goodness, this is an untitled picture early on of uh, Aaron Paquette's. And look at the beautiful work here. Lovely snowfall. And up in the sky, we see a moon and also a lot of stars, right? So we have Astrogos, 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 Astrogos everywhere. So I thought I'd share a little bit of art from our amazing local painter, Mr. Uh, Aaron Paquette. And uh, his work is incredible. So please, if you ever have a chance, go down to Bear Claw Gallery. Go check it out, see some of his work once it's open, of course. Let's get back to our art project. Moving on, we're going to go into step 10, which is adding our Achagos. It's time to put stars in our picture. The funnest part, we get our white chalk right here, and we're going to make little dots. Now, start with your areas like here and here, and keep your dots inside your galaxies for now. Bunch them up. There's a lot of bumping. Dot, 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 star time, star time, star time, making lots of stars. Now you can bang, 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 bang if you want to make stars, or you can draw them in nicely. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. It's your art and it's never wrong. I'm going to try both ways. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> all right so you see here i put my stars all over my galaxies look so so good now we'll add a few more here and there here there everywhere now the other stars are not as clear as they are in the galaxy so we don't put as many Let's add a little bit of yellow stars, because sometimes you see planets far, far away. We're gonna add some yellow, just to make sure we have everything covered. And what about other planets in red? Now you can choose whatever color you want for your distant planets. I like to choose bright colors. How about green? And draw little dots everywhere to show those planets as well. Check it out. Does that look good so far? I'm sure your art is amazing. Oh, yes. Hey, mom. Thank you for that. So once again, um, after this, as we say. Oh, I have to plug in my computer. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. Well. Okay, the computer's running a little bit low, so we just might run out. The batteries here who knows let's see here um hmm. plug that in hold on a second <laughs> yay it's on okay our computer will not run out of batteries now so that's perfect uh, okay moving on so what's next in our art adventure oh yes we were saying achagos is uh for star so that's what you uh, a little bit of lesson my mom here gladys like to share with us so thank you mom for your teachings i appreciate that i really really love that okay moving on what's our next step in our amazing art adventure hey sister nice to see you okay now we're gonna draw a shooting star with a tail all right so what we do is get some yellow we find a spot we want our shooting star and we draw the star first Achikos, star I'm gonna put mine right here. There's my star. See it? Right there, little star. Hey sister, nice to see you sister. Hey Jess, love you. Hey Mackenzie, Chesney, Akio, and everyone else in the family there. Love you guys, miss you lots up there in Wabaska. Hope you're doing good. Now we take our, our chalk, and you can see here, we draw a long line from our star, like it's shooting. Just like that. Oh, now I like to take my finger and just run it along to make it look like it's shooting faster. Check it out. Isn't that cool? 
Awesome. Oh, there's so much chalk dust everywhere. It's so much fun to do art. Get you all nice and messy, and that's awesome. And hey, we did it. Congratulations. Yes, there's our incredible space cosmic chalk art creation. That's mine. I love it. I'm sure yours is just as good, and I'm sure it's perfect. So let's put away all of our supplies. We want to keep ourselves nice and clean uh, as we go along so we can keep it tight. Wipe up all this mess. Holy moly, all that chalk dust. Thank goodness it is very easy to clean and no problem at all. Okay. Hey everyone, it's time for Kids Showcase. That's right, it's time when I show photos that you've sent in of your incredible work. And this week, I have a very, very special picture to show you. Take a look here at this amazing family who joined us last week to create our felt Métis style flowers for Mother's Day. And uh, oh, amazing family. Here we have Natalie, we have Keith Jr. who is 12, Naya, who is five, and Tristan, who is 10. Now, they are from the Ochapoachi Cree Nation, Treaty 4 in Saskatchewan, and they're now living in Treaty 6, just south of Edmonton. So, hello, family. Good job on your art. It looks amazing. I'm so proud of you. And once again, making memories as a family is what it's all about here at Family Art Adventure. So, I'm so happy you shared that. And I want to see more of those pictures. So, please. If you want to send me your photos, just send me uh, to my email at lancecardinal75 at gmail.com. Or you can Facebook me uh, at Lance Cardinal or Family Art Adventures on YouTube. I uh, Just send it down to me with your name, age, and where you're from. And I'll try to get it in there for our Kids Corner Showcase. And maybe your art can be shown. Also, don't forget to please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see future posts. And you'll never miss an episode. And there is also going to be some bonus stuff on the YouTube channel. Don't forget about that. So go ahead and do that. Now, before I go, I want to do a really, really big, amazing shout out to Up the River t-shirts here in Edmonton. And Clinton made me this incredible uh, star chart t-shirt. Oh my goodness, check this out, you guys. It has the star chart right on it. Isn't that awesome? So this, so this was created for me by Clinton over at um, Up The River T-Shirts. Now, if you want to see, uh, get some of his T-Shirts, just go on Facebook, look up Up The River T-Shirts, or when we open up the world again, you can check them out at the Flea Market, which is open on 111th Avenue every Saturday and Sunday and Friday, I think it is. And he has a booth there with all of his amazing T-Shirts. Go check it out. Thank you so much, Clinton, for being such an amazing, supportive person and sending me this beautiful T-Shirt. I will wear it with pride. And that's it, everyone. Thank you once again for coming down. It's been so nice. It's been so nice to be with you. Thank you for being here in my adventure. I hope you had fun. I hope you had smiles. I want to see your art on the next family adventure. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day. And may the creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. Bye, you guys.